Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Cooking with Reese. Today I decided that today would be barbecue Monday and first things first I'm making some baked beans. I'm using pork and beans and pinto beans. This, These baked beans are going to be different from what I normally, be, normally make. I didn't have any green peppers so I'm using red peppers, onions. I have my bacon over here sauteing right, frying right now. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Cooking with Reese. So today I decided to have a barbecue Monday. So first things first, I'm making some baked beans. This, these baked beans are a little different from how I normally make them. So I'm using pinto beans and pork and beans. I didn't have any green peppers so I'm using red peppers, onions. I have my bacon frying over here right now. I'm also using some barbecue sauce, ketchup, mustard, and brown sugar. I've already added my beans to the dish. And I'm going to go ahead and add in the ingredients. And what I'm going to be doing with the vegetables is sauteing them. So stay tuned, you guys. Alright, guys. The bacon is done. I've already added the other ingredients to the beans so what I'm gonna do now is add the red peppers and onions to the same pan that I sauteed the bacon in we're just gonna saute them until they're nice and soft so I went ahead and added the bacon to the dish as well and once the red peppers and onions are complete, we're going to give that a nice mix. I'm going to go ahead and add these to the beans now. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and mix this up really well. Hold on. Alright, so I'm going to mix that up. This smells good already, y'all. Like I said, I've never made my baked beans with the red peppers. So I'm hoping the turnout is just the same. Make sure you mix it up really well. Okay, so everything is mixed in perfectly. I had to add a little more barbecue sauce and brown, and brown sugar. So you can just adjust the ingredients to your liking. I'm going to go ahead and pop that in the oven uncovered for about, about an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes. And I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's done. No. Alright guys, so here I have some country style ribs and some pork chops mixed together that I seasoned and let marinate for about two hours. The seasonings that I used are some salt, some barbecue seasoning, onion powder, black pepper, and garlic powder. And what I'm going to be doing is sauteing the ribs and the pork chops. And then I'm going to be adding some barbecue sauce and onions on top and I'm gonna let them finish off in the oven all right so I'm gonna go ahead and add the ribs to the pan now and let them sear on all sides all right so I'm gonna let the ribs cook first and once the ribs are done I'm gonna cook the pork chops next okay. so the other side is sauteing now So here's what the country style ribs are looking like. I've added the pork chops and let them sear as well. I have the barbecue sauce back here. Okay, guys, so the country style ribs and the pork chops have been sauteed on all sides. I sauteed them approximately eight minutes on each side. 
Now I'm going to add the onions and then I'm going to add the barbecue sauce. And I'm going to pop them in the oven covered for about an hour, hour and a half. Alright guys, so I've added the onions. Now I'm about to add the barbecue sauce. Yeah. Alright guys, so here's what it's looking like. I'm going to go ahead and add this aluminum foil and I'm going to pop it in the oven for an hour and a half. So stay tuned, you guys. That's how I make my collards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to Cooking with Reese. Thanks for Cooking with Reese.